trust a chatbot therapist. There are so many apps that come up when you search under mental health. Could an app be as effective as a real person in providing help or therapy? Talking apps are everywhere now, helping us with facts, finance, shopping and news. Facebook Messenger alone has over 30,000 chatbots for us to interact with. But how about a therapy app at your fingertips, available day and night? Could it help you if you were feeling bad? And how much would you trust it? How we think affects the way we feel. And by changing the way we think, we can feel or act better in challenging circumstances. Cognitive Behavioural Therapy, or CBT, is a way for people to understand problematic thinking patterns and challenge the way we think about things. Lisa and Wobot are two automated chatbots that have adapted this effective technique. They're much cheaper than seeing an actual therapist and are available 24-7. But could apps like these actually replace face-to-face -face therapy? Wobot is a chatbot and people should not use him as a replacement for getting real care and um, that really what he is is a sort of an easy way to be brought through a cognitive behavioural therapy process but he doesn't really deliver in the same way that a therapist would. One of the reasons that people don't um, reach out to a therapist or their loved ones is because they don't want to expose themselves to another human being as being uh, emotionally weak. We do work really hard to pick up things like crisis and our number one responsibility to people is transparency. WISA uses artificial intelligence to be able to detect what you're saying and then decide what to say next. Those responses have been pre-approved by therapists. What could be the pros and cons of using these kind of apps? I just don't know how willing I am to rely on technology completely because of the fact that it only has to fail once and that could be someone's life. If it's bullying with social media that has caused you to become depressed or something you're not going to want to chat on messenger if you, that's the yeah. root of what started it. And yeah. what surprised me was quite how human it was in that when you said um, I don't really want to talk about it right now. They offered something else for you to do, play a game with it, something like that. So I think that's, yeah, that's, really that's good. quite good. It offers, although it's not quite human. It's almost that first point of call within a crisis. If someone doesn't have someone to talk to, or they might not have access to mental health services, if they can literally download the app and then it helps, then who says that it isn't yeah. a good idea, you know what I mean? Would you be honest in using an app? Yes, I would, actually. So, so if you talk to someone, who already knows you, like a friend or something, they're going to have their set opinion on what, you think, what they think well. you should do because they know you, but sometimes you don't want to hear that, you just want someone like that app to just ask questions. I'm not going to lie, this app yeah. I'm really, really impressed. It's yeah. like a full-on conversation and Did it, it isn't... You, it, gave, it gave me a breathing exercise earlier. Yeah, I saw it. I was like, whoa. We have uh, many people suffering from mental health concerns all over the world and we just don't have enough uh, therapies or people power to to meet those needs the very fact that a young person is seeking mental health online means that there's something wrong and so having people in their lives who can support them through that in addition to the app would would be very important challenging the stigma around mental illness and getting everyone to open up and talk is a difficult challenge for those reluctant to talk to a real person, then perhaps talking to a machine might provide a step in the right direction. If you have a problem, no matter how bad it feels right now, speak to somebody you trust and get medical help. There are kind and caring mental health professionals out there who can help. All you have to do is ask.